buckle up and hold on. At our church, we love God. Make no mistake about that. At our church, we believe in God's radical, unconditional, and unwavering love for us. At our church, we believe that Jesus is God. We also affirm that you may or may not believe that Jesus is God. And we're not asking you to change your belief system before you attend our church. We're simply inviting you on a journey toward Jesus. For years, churches have placed a high priority on Jesus as the get out of hell free card. At our church, we place the highest priority on Jesus as a live life to the fullest invitation. At our church, we believe every person has a dream deep inside their hearts and that God put that dream there, not for our glory, but for His. At our church, we're not concerned with where you've been, but where you're going. At our church, we believe that the Bible is God's Word. It is real, it is living, it is active. We believe that people who don't go to church anywhere are not the enemy. They are real people who need the perfect love that only God can give. And we believe that God gives this love through, of all people, us. At our church, we do not and we will not display a holier-than-thou attitude toward anyone. We are all broken people, but he is putting us back together. And finally, and most importantly, at our church, we believe that Jesus really lived, that he really died on a cross, and that he really rose again on the third day. And we cannot and we will not candy coat or water down that message, ever. Today, you've chosen to sit yourself in the middle of a very safe place to hear a potentially dangerous message. Welcome to our church. Good morning. Welcome to Cross Point. Why don't you stand up and go around and shake somebody's hand that you haven't seen in a while, or maybe somebody that you have seen, but you just want to say hello. Thank you. 
We're going to have to uh, release the children. we got to release the kids. We're having a Christmas party today. So in order to get a hand on all the kids, we're going to go ahead and release them right now so you can go back to your classes. All right, let's stand and worship the Lord this morning. You've been walking the same old road for miles and miles. You've been hearing the same old voice till the same old lies. If you're trying to fill the same old holes inside, well, there's a better life. There's a better life. If you got pain, he's a pain taker. If you feel lost, he's a way maker. If you need freedom or saving, he's a prison shaking savior. If you got chains, he's a chain breaker. We've all searched for I mean, he's excited to be here this morning. Yeah. This is the best part of the whole deal. I told him to put some ice in it, so jump in there. <laughs> Not what I figured. Hop in. Wouldn't, uh, wouldn't want any other way. <laughs> Daggone heaters. I wish this cold. Hey, Dad, you want to help me? Oh, yeah. Huh? Might as well make you part of it, right? Well, J.D., we've known each other quite a long time and been through a lot of stuff, and uh, it excites me to be able to baptize you. 
and I know it excites your dad. Um, we he's still here to be able to help. He got kind of sick, and for a while there, he didn't know if he's going to have him. But um, I know that uh, this profession of faith is exactly where you want to be. I know that you have a relationship with uh, Jesus and uh, got your girls, and um, I'm super proud of you. Cross points behind you, and we believe in you, and we want to baptize you. We baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried in the likeness of his death and raised in the likeness of his resurrection. Amen. Things are going to make everybody cry. It's exactly why Cross Point's here, amen? And if, if you haven't been baptized and you've accepted Christ over the last year, or maybe you just hadn't done it, um, we want you to get a hold of uh, Mark and Juanita and us so we can help you take the next step in your relationship with Jesus. I can't tell you why you're walking through this valley. I can't tell you just how long you've got to stay. I can't tell you why your heart feels so unsettled or when this all will change. But I can tell you there is something can lean on it's a promise that won't bend and it won't break it will keep you when the future is uncertain you're not out of grace when the darkness overwhelms you and the fear just won't subside when your questions outweigh answers on those long and lonely nights, friend, you've got to keep on moving. He is with you in the valley of despair, and he won't.
Love's like a hurricane I am a tree Bending beneath The weight of his wind And mercy When all of a sudden I am unaware of these afflictions Eclipsed by glory And I realize just how beautiful you are And how great your reflections are for me Oh, how he loves us loves us so much that he sent his son to die. And you don't pay a price like that for something that isn't worth it. He says that we're all worth it. 
we're all worth his son's life. For those of you who think that you're not worth it this morning, just look at that. Think about that for a moment. You don't pay a price for something if it's not worth it. You don't go to the grocery store and pay $100 for a loaf of bread. You don't pay $100 for a gallon of milk. He paid that price for us. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning for sending your son to die on that cross for us so that we might have everlasting life if we just believe in you and accept you as our Savior. We thank you, Lord. We praise you in your your son, Jesus' name.